In recent years, the popularity of touchscreen devices has exploded. This has led to changes in traditional WIMP user interfaces, perhaps the single most ubiquitous of which is the extensive use of direct touch manipulation of content, such as scale and translation. Despite these changes, interaction with the many attributes of the content often falls back on the traditional form-filling paradigm, which acts as the core of UIs designed for the mouse and keyboard. We present object-oriented drawing. The central theme of OOD is the extensive objectification of attributes into what we have termed attribute objects. Attribute objects may be directly manipulated with the same gestures commonly employed for objects within applications. We explore the use of attribute objects in a drawing application, which has been built from the ground up to replace all WIMP UI with attribute objects. Toolbars and menus are replaced with collections of attribute objects associated with each object. Tapping a drawing object opens this collection. Attributes are represented based on a paper card metaphor. Tapping on a card reveals its sub-attributes displayed in a tree structure. Dragging an attribute off of the display line removes it from the object. Dragging it onto an object's collection adds it to the object. Unset attributes for an object can be accessed by dragging the handle of the display line to the right. Tapping on the attribute object adds it to the drawing object. Attribute objects also enable quick and flexible sharing of attributes. Holding an attribute object with one hand and then tapping on the screen with the other clones an attribute object to the tap position. It can then be attached to a drawing object to share the same style or be saved for later reuse. Holding an object attribute with one hand and then tapping on a drawing object clones the attribute directly into the drawing object. Immediately after the tap is performed, a link graphic is briefly displayed that, if tapped, will create a persistent connection between the source and destination attribute objects. Changes of one attribute are instantly propagated to the others. Because spatial position is itself an attribute of drawing objects, alignment can be achieved by cloning the spatial position of one object to another. For example, user can easily align parts of the crosshair to the center by cloning and linking the position attribute object. Links ensure that the layout is maintained when any object is moved. Attribute objects can be held to maintain quasi-modes on the user's input. For example, a user may hold the stroke width card and drag a finger on the canvas to directly manipulate the stroke width. Holding a drop shadow attribute while moving the finger directly manipulates the position of the shadow. Holding an attribute object also puts the pen into a mode related to the attribute. By default, the pen draws a path with its current fill and stroke attributes. If the user holds an existing fill attribute while drawing, the pen will draw on the style of the touched fill. If the user holds a drawing object, the pen will draw on the style of the entire object, using it as a template. Attribute objects can be grouped to form a style. Dragging one attribute object card to another forms a group. Free-floating groups may be used as ad hoc templates, with their styles quickly applied to an object or to pen input. Each attribute object maintains its own history. As such, a user may retrieve a previous state of any attribute without affecting other objects. A pinch-to-zoom gesture expands the attribute object card and reveals a separate attribute object for each of the earlier attribute values. Tapping a previous state previews the effect. Tapping on the selected state again rolls the attribute back to that state. Attributes of the same type can also be blended. The user can hold two attributes of the same type to generate a child attribute object from them. The user can slide the attribute object towards one parent or the other to linearly adjust the influence of each. We extend our concept of objectification beyond the attributes of content in applications to the controls for those applications. When inking, a small pen-shaped cursor provides feedback for the user. The cursor remains on the screen when the user lifts the stylus. The user can drag the pointer to reposition it, or tap it to open the display line to change the attributes of the cursor. By default, a canvas object has two layers, the background and a single foreground layer, each of which may be manipulated just like the others in our UI. For example, the color of the background layer may be changed by directly manipulating its fill attribute. The shape of the canvas can also be customized by sharing the shape attribute of a path object on the canvas. Because layers are represented as cards within the canvas, their order can be trivially reorganized by dragging them to another position within the display line. This eliminates the need for dedicated UI widgets, such as a layer panel. 
The opacity of a layer can be adjusted by adding an opacity card to the layer that contains the image to support tracing tasks. We have demonstrated many interaction opportunities enabled by using direct manipulation on attribute objects in our drawing application. We believe that this can enable applications with higher levels of complexity on touch devices without paying the penalty of requiring complex gestural vocabularies and performing tedious form-filling actions.